All right, we're at CRKT booth 2018 SHOT Show. We got Joel, CRKT, gonna show us some of the new knives for 2018. Take it away, Joel. All thank right, you. thank you to Love Them Knives for coming by the CRKT booth. We're excited to show you some of these knives here. Uh, what we've got is this is the home front from Ken Onion that came out last year and it has this field strip technology, which as you guys may know, it actually works this way, and I'm going to do this on camera. Let's see how it goes, right? Okay. So you turn the release wheel, which disengages the handles, and then you flip this lever here, and that disengages the pivot, and then the knife will come apart in three simple pieces. And that's so you can actually clean and field strip your knife, much like you would a gun um, out in the field. So you can clean up your knife. Now let me bring it back together for you guys. Um, now you bring the pieces back together. You want to make sure that pivot seats correctly here. And then you want to put the rear release wheel and then spin that here. That brings the handles back together. And then make sure you press and hold this pivot here so the pivot seats correctly and then bring the lever down and the knife comes back to full working order. Bingo. Great. Now the exciting thing about 2018, and I'm going to take this knife away and move to the next one here, is that you actually have the Rikiri, which is a new knife design from Duhara, and he's the son of Kojihara from Seki, oh. Japan. Oh my god! Okay. And Kojihara, as you know, is a master knife maker and cutlery, uh, cut cutlery master in Japan. Um, this design is actually based on the Lado sword, which is L-A-I-D-O, the Lado sword from Japan. I encourage you guys to Google image that and look around because there's a lot of really cool swords out there. But this knife is based on that design and inspired by that design. And this is the first production model from Duhara and Columbia River Knife and Tool that carries the field strip technology. Now, the second field strip technology knife that I've got going here is the James Williams um, Gokin. And that actually is a G10 handle, which provides exceptional, exceptional grip in all weather conditions. And that's that James Williams sort of modified clip point or modified Tonto style blade that is excellent for piercing and penetration. Um, that's a really awesome knife. It has field strip technology built in. And so you can also keep that knife clean. And that's the, the Gokin from James Williams. The next knife I'll show is the Voss from Jesper Voxnes. Um, he's a designer from Denmark, and he is known for very clean, smooth lines. Uh, we did an interview with him earlier on our own YouTube channel at CRKT, uh, but we're showing this Voss by Jesper Voxnes here on Love Them Knives. And one more we're going to show you that has field strip technology, um, which is the Ruger Takedown by Matthew Lurch. One of the cool things about field strip technology is that actual other designers are embracing the innovation now. So you've got one, two, three, four new field strip knives. So the original home front was a big hit. It was popular for CRKT. And now other, other knife designers are embracing this cool and distinctive innovation in knives. Could you uh, show me the Duhara one again? Cause, but the angle I had the other time made it look really... And now this is a lighter gray knife. Let me get it out in the light. Here you go. So you That's can see good, yeah. this cold forged aluminum. Cold forged aluminum handle, yes. And Duhara, Kojihara. Okay. Yes, I I know who Kojihara is. And yes, I've known people who have bought a knife from Duhara as well. Yeah. Okay, that's really, that's a good looking knife there and a big bad boy too. Yeah, thank you. That's a great knife. We're excited to be working with Duhara and the Hara, uh, House of Hara. Now, this is, um, it, these are new M16s, and let me flip one out here to show you. Um, now, this is a stainless steel handle that's actually been milled out with that distinctive uh, M16 style. Um, this is a Kit Carson design. This is based on the original platform, and the actual reason why they mill this out is to, not only does it have a cool look, but it also helps save weight on the knife. So these are very lightweight knives. Now, one thing that we, we responded to in the customer base is they wanted something very simple like a frame lock. So these three new M16s all have a frame lock, and I'll show you how that works. You just push the frame aside and you can disengage the blade. So you just push the frame aside there and it disengages the blade. And that's the new M16-04KS. The K actually makes stands for the black versions, and that's a black oxide finish on a Tonto blade. 
with an HCR 14 MOV steel. It's a good everyday steel. It takes an edge well in the field and is a good you can bang around on it and not feel guilty and carry it every day. This is the spear point model version. Nice. And then there's also a smaller um, Tonto as well. Now I want to make sure we can try to get that in the camera as well as you can. Oh yeah. Are we doing all right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. One, Good what, shot. one more I'd like to show you is the RASP, which is the R-A-S-P, which uh, stands for Rescue and Special Purpose Knife. It was designed by Darren Sorois, who is a Green Beret veteran, retired Sergeant Major. He served for over uh, 11 tours of Iraq, one tour of Afghanistan. He served in the Balkans, Desert Storm in Panama, uh, the 7th Special Forces Group. And Darren Soroyce is part of our Forge by War program for CRKT, where we work with veteran designers to bring their designs to market for an affordable price, and then we give a portion of the profits back to their charity of choice. Uh, Darren Soroyce chose uh, Purple Heart Homes for this specific knife, and so we're, that's part of the CRKT Forge by War program. Uh, Darren had the Sangrador last year, and we're excited to have the Rescue and Special Purpose Knife, which is the RASP knife, um, this year in the Forge by War program. Very nice, very nice. All right.